Hi, this is Dr. JMR, JMR Chemistry. Today, I would like to explain about acids and uh, bases. Before that, please like, share and uh, subscribe to my channel that is JMR Chemistry. Acids and bases. Today I would like to cover what is inorganic acid, what is organic acid, acid, strong acid, weak acid, concentrated acid, diluted acid, base, alkali, basicity of an acid, SDT of a base, monobasic acid, dibasic acid, tribasic acid, monoacidic base, diacidic base, triacidic base, SDT of an alkali, strong acid, strong alkali, weak alkali, that is etc. So I will cover these topics in this video. First of all, what is an acid? Before that, acids are classified into two types. They are inorganic acids and organic acids. Inorganic acids means the acids which are derived from minerals. Derived from minerals. So that is why they are called mineral acids. Or uh, we can call it as inorganic acids. Okay. Then what is organic acids? The acids which are derived from plants. Derived from plants is known as organic acids. Okay. Next. Inorganic acids are classified into acids, bases and uh, salts will go with the uh, acids the term acid was derived from latin word acidum meaning sour naturally acids are sour to taste minerals you take uh, many metals are dissolved in uh, what do you call acids so about litmus paper red litmus turns to blue that is is it correct no so here blue litmus turns to red so here like that acids turns blue litmus paper turns to red next generally Fruits are sour to taste due to presence of organic acids. For example, apple, malic acid, it contains malic acid. Or you take uh, grapes, tartaric acid, lemon or orange, it contains citric acid, milk, malic acid, vinegar, so acetic acid means here like this different fruits naturally contains different type of acids okay then what is an acid a compound when it is dissolved in water produce h plus ions suppose for example hcl when it is dissolved in water it produce h3o plus ions means this we can call it as hydronium ion because in water what happened h2o combined with the h2o it gives rise to water h3o plus ions plus oh minus ions means it contains equal number of hydronium as well as hydroxide ions. So that is why here what happened? Water is 
neutral towards litmus paper so here by the addition of acid to the water what happened here more number of hydronium ions are increased that is nothing but h3o plus ions are increased so due to this it is more acidic in nature so that is why that water will become what a acid this so that is why here what happened this finally will become acid then you have to tell what is the definition means a substance or a compound that dissolves in water and produces hydrogen ion the or you can say hydronium ion h3o plus ions it can no it is known as what a acid okay next what is strong acid what is weak acid strong acid means suppose you take hcl is a strong acid hno3 is a strong acid sulfuric acid is a strong acid why you have to use one terminology what is that naturally acid is added into water automatically what happened it will become acid but your complete ionization means the acid which undergo complete ionization in aqueous solution aqueous means water that is water so aqueous solution by producing more number or high concentration of h plus ions suppose you take hcl hcl what happened on complete ionization it produces h plus and cl minus so here it produces what a stable h plus ions and stable what happened here chloride ion so that is why we can say strong acid means it produces more number of h plus ions so that is why we can call it as strong acid then what do you mean by weak acid weak acid means partial ionization suppose you take acetic acid acetic acid ch3cooh it is gives rise to acetate ion that is coo minus plus h plus ions means what a here by it undergoes decomposition naturally it produces h plus ions but uh, less amount here you have to use one terminology partial ionization because again this h plus ion what a combine with acetate to form acetic acid means what happened an acid undergo partial ionization this is very important terminology partial ionization in aqueous solution to form a, what a less production of h plus ions that leads to formation of weak acid so that is the difference between strong acid and weak acid what is strong acid means on a complete ionization it produces strong acid so here weak acid means partial ionization that is the difference between strong and weak acid okay then again here i would like to explain concentrated acid diluted acid what is concentrated acid so a sample of an acid that contains very little or we can say comparable amount what do you mean by suppose you take fruit juice fruit juice contains water or not yes it contains diluted fruit juice concentrated fruit juice means that sample of fruit juice or water comparable amount of water acid and water means a sample of an acid that contains very little or no amount of water we can say that is concentrated acid what do you mean by diluted acid the acid so which contains more amount of water what is that more amount of water in it so we can call it as diluted acid so can generally will write a co and c like this dil means you have to write 
DIL means diluted acid like that generally will uh, indicate okay next uh, base what is a base bases have generally bitter to taste slippery feel naturally red litmus turns to blue litmus that indicates what beta it is a base so here a base is a compound when it is dissolved in water it produce oh minus this oh minus ion we can call it as hydroxide or hydroxyl ion so we can suppose you take naoh when it is dissolved in water it produces oh minus ions then we can say it is a base so like that for example all bases are uh, what do you call uh, uh, alkalis what do you mean by alkali i would like to explain this terminology first alkali means bases a base which is soluble in water a base which is soluble in water we can call it as alkali what is that alkali so here all bases are not alkalis because some bases are uh, not soluble in uh, water so that is why a base which is soluble in water we can call it as what a uh, alkali alkali means a base which is soluble in water if it is not soluble it is not a base so all metallic oxides are uh, what a uh, bases but all bases are not a uh, alkalis this is very very important terminology a base which is soluble in water we can call it as alkalis so all bases are not alkalis but all alkalis are bases so here what is basicity of an acid generally we will use basicity what is basicity the number of hydronium ions what is that the number of hydronium ions produced liberated suppose you take hcl when it is dissolved in water automatically it produce h3o plus plus a cl minus so an acid when it is dissolved in water so it produces means the number of the number of hydronium ions liberated produced by one molecule of an acid we can call it as what a basicity of an acid of that acids they are mainly classified into three types what are they mono basic acid di basic acid and a tri basic acid first uh, we'll go with the mono ba basic acid mono basic acid means so here you take acetic acid produce only one hydronium ions because it contains only one h plus ions so that is why we can call it as what a mono basic acid similarly one molecule of acid on complete ionization produces one hydronium ions we can call it as mono basic acid similarly suppose here you take di basic acid means here sulfuric acid contains 2h plus ions so naturally it produces two hydronium ions primarily suppose you take h2so4 it when it is dissolved in water naturally it produces h3o plus plus uh, bisulfate ions hso4 minus again here hso4 minus when it is dissolved again here further ionization it produces another hydronium ions and a uh, what a uh, sulfate ion so4 2 minus so like this here it produces two hydronium ions we can call it as di basic acid what is tri basic acid tribasic acid means a one molecule of an acid on complete ionization produces three 
three hydronium ions we can call it as what a tribasic acid so like that we classified into mono basic acid di basic acid and a tri basic acid next uh, here acidity of a base similarly we come across basicity of an acid similarly acidity of a base what is acidity of a acid so here base base means you know that is oh minus ions so acidity means the number of hydroxide ions oh minus liberated by one molecule of substance means suppose you take naoh naoh it gives rise to it produces one oh minus ions like this this is called the acidity the acidity what a acidity of a sodium hydroxide we have to say that is one because it produces only one oh minus ion similarly it is classified into three types number one mono acidic base di acidic base and finally tri acidic base if we we'll go through the definition similarly one molecule of a base on complete ionization produces one hydroxide ions we can call it as mono acidic base similarly di acidic base means one molecule of a base on complete ionization produces two hydroxide ions we can call it as what a di acidic base similarly tri acidic base means one molecule of a base produces what a three hydroxide ions then that uh, what a base we can call it as what a that we have to write here what a base that base is known as that a, what a base that base is known as what a tri acidic base so like this here what happened generally they are classified into mono acidic base di acidic base and uh, finally tri acidic base sometimes you will ask uh, acidity of a base is how much here three acidity of uh, calcium hydroxide is what a uh, two the acidity of sodium hydroxide is one so like that you have to tell so next uh, acidity of an alkali it is nothing but alkali i told what is that a base which is soluble in uh, water we can call it as alkali so here the hydroxide ions furnished by one molecule of an alkali on complete uh, what a dissociation what is that on complete dissociation in water it produces what a more number of oh minus ions we can call it as strong alkali here strength of an acid how we are going to measure means the degree of ionization of an acid what is that degree of ionization of an acid in an aqueous solution is known as strength of an acid means suppose you take a total how many molecule acid molecules are present so how many number of acid molecules are what are dissociated into 100 means the number of uh, what acid molecules dissociated divided by total number of acid molecules into 100 we can call it as what a degree of ionization of acid it is denoted by alpha similarly strength of an alkali how you are going to identify that alkali i told just now what a number of alkali molecules ionized divided by total number of molecules into 100 like this generally will consider next strong alkali so strong alkali means a base or an alkali which is almost complete very important terminology complete disso, disso, dissolving in an aqueous solution to produce a high concentration of what a hydroxide ions we can call it as strong acid similarly what is weak alkali suppose you take ammonium hydroxide is a weak base generally we can call it as because it uh, produces oh minus ions 
But again, this OH minus ion combined with a what a ammonium ion to form a ammonium hydroxide because this ammonium ion is less stable. So that is why they what a combine with a OH minus ions to form what a uh, ammonium hydroxide. Similarly, here what is an acid? What is a base? I explained clearly about uh, what strong acid, strong base, then weak acid, weak base, and uh, what uh, uh, how to calculate what is alkali? What is the difference between base as well as alkali? So thank you, thank you very much. So please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. That is. JMR Chemistry. Thank you.